Yo, what is up you guys? It's Dominator here and I'm back with another Pokemon Sword and Shield tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to shiny hunt for the strong spawns in the Isle of Armor or the wild area. This works for either area as long as there's raid dens and strong spawns like that. So make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you are new and let's get right into the tutorial. I also forgot to mention that I got my shiny Zara Aura here. Make sure you claim this before July 6th. All you gotta do is deposit a Pokemon into Pokemon Home and then log into Pokemon Home on your smartphone before July 6th, 2020. And you don't even need the premium subscription. You can just have the free one and it'll work that way. And you'll get a shiny Zara Aura, so he's pretty cool. All right, so to start, I'm gonna show you how originally strong spawn encounters worked. Now, the way Pokemon work in this game is that when they spawn in and they're on the overworld like that Dreadnought over there, it is completely 100% generated. Even its shiny value is generated. So if I encountered it and then reset, it would be the same thing. It would be the same Dreadnought every time. It wouldn't ever be shiny. So what you would do is you would come far away back here. For example, I'm going to be hunting Licky Licky Strong Spawn. There's a Strong Spawn of Licky Licky over by these those green flowers right above my head green grass flowers i think they're flowers but we're gonna be hunting licky licky so we want to be away from it so that it doesn't spawn in because if it spawns in it is generated for the rest of the day and you'll have to find a new day with licky licky strong spawn so we're far away enough so it hasn't spawned in yet and then we're basically just gonna save here i want to make sure i saved so that i don't have to like completely redo this again save where the licky licky isn't spawned in and then you're just gonna ride over to where it spawns in it got generated it's a new licky licky it is not shiny and then we reset so because of the fact that pokemon stay generated when they've spawned in means you can't just be right on top of it to reset but this new method means that you actually can be right on top of it and reset but you'll continuously get new licky licky spawns so let me show you how this works so full disclaimer, this method does use the raid den exploit, the time skip exploit. It's not really the raid den exploit, it's more just like a time skip exploit. So if you're kind of sensitive to that, if you think that's like super cheap, then this probably isn't for you. But in my opinion, all we're doing is getting the spawn to load in. We're not, we're not like changing the date so that it's guaranteed shiny or anything like that from those raid den exploits. We're just making it so we can hunt this thing a little quicker than before. So you're going to want to go to a raid den. First of all, we're going to generate this Licky Licky. I want to show you that it's a new Licky Licky every time. So we're going to encounter it. We're not going to uh, reset. We're going to run from it, actually. Or you can faint it or whatever you want. Whatever feels better. I'm actually just going to run from it. So we ran from it, which means no more Licky Lickies are going to spawn here for the rest of the day. And I've been messing with this, and tomorrow it's going to be the weather that spawns Drapion. So what we're going to want to do, because we don't get two Licky Licky days in a row, we're going to want to come over to this raid den. We are going to want to invite others, but make sure you do not connect to the internet. So there's no YCOM, no connecting to the internet. You're going to invite others like so. It's never going to find anyone because we're not connected to the internet. That's why you don't want to connect to the internet. And then we're going to want to go home. We're going to want to go home. And we're going to want to go to your system settings, date and time. We are going to want to, synchronize clock might be on. We're going to turn that off. We're going to turn that back a day. Also, if you want to hunt Licky Licky, uh, June 30th, 2020 is a date that you can hunt Licky Licky. So we're going to want to change it back a day. And then we're going to want to go back in. We're going to quit the raid. And now it is rainy weather, which means the day has changed. We are going to save here. And the reason why I'm doing this, we're going to run a reset the game. The reason why I'm doing this is because we just are unlucky. There's no like double licky licky day. We want to set it back a day because ideally you want to set it to the right date to hunt licky licky. Because right now I, I think it's Malamar that's going to spawn now. But this just shows that it is generating new Pokemon because we deleted that Licky Licky and it wasn't supposed to show up any other time for June 30th. So over here now, nothing spawns. 
which means I may have done this wrong, but I don't think I did. So what we're going to want to do is invite others, go to home, system settings, system, date and time. We're going to go forward a day back to the day that Licky Licky spawns at. Back out. Quit the raid. It's a new day. And now we're going to want to come over to where Licky Licky spawns. Save the game. And reset. And when the game loads, a Licky Licky spawns right on top of us. It is a new Licky Licky, and I actually screwed up a little bit. He wasn't exactly right on us. So what we're going to want to do is close the game out, because that, that was a new Licky Licky. Obviously, it was a new Licky Licky because I had ran from the last one, completely deleting that Licky Licky from existence. So let's see if we can get this before it spawns in again. Because I was a little off. You gotta be fast with this. Alright, um... It's a little, it's a little fast. So basically this is, this is the gist of it. You just reset, the new Licky Licky spawns in. You got your 1 in 40, 96 chance it's shiny. If you have shiny charm, it's a 1 in 13, 65 chance. But, just... Be sure you get exactly where the Licky Licky is, or else you might have to ride into it a little bit, which I guess isn't a big deal. You can just hold, like in my case, I just have to hold down and right on the stick just a little bit, and I will run into it every time. So, as you can see, new Licky Licky, Licky spawns, but yeah. So the spawn point is roughly here, but yeah, let's just do a couple encounters to show you that it works. I'm also, I will also catch it just to show that they are different Licky Lickies. So let's just chuck a Master Ball at this thing. Level 60 female. Uh, I am going to reset. I am not using my only Master Ball on a regular Licky Licky. You also want to make sure auto save is turned off because holy, if, if it auto saved after I caught a Licky Licky with a Master Ball, that would be terrible. All right, Licky Licky's added to the party. Check summary, it's a female. It is a neutral nature, serious nature. It's got a mark too, uncommon mark. All right, the sociable. All right, so let's reset. If this next Licky Licky's male, then I won't even have to catch it. We'll know that it's a new one. Alright, I'm going to hold right and down. Licky Licky's going to spawn on top of us. There's the Licky Licky. We got Stormbreaker, our shiny Zeraora. It is a male, Licky Licky. I will check another Master Ball at this, just to prove that it's a new one, but as you saw, the last one was female, and this one's male, meaning this is a brand new generated Licky Licky. And all you gotta do is stand still and have the Licky Licky spawn on you. You just gotta be a little better. So, just a tip, I would completely memorize where these things spawn, where, like the exact spawn point where these things spawn at and try to get it as close as possible. I thought I was on, I was a little off, but all you have to do is just repeat this method until you get it right. So let's check this one. So obviously it's a different liquid because it's male. 
the nature should be different, which it is. This one is quiet nature and it doesn't have a mark. So that's basically all you do. You just reset, have the licky licky spawn and get a new one. And you can do this with any strong spawn as long as there's a red dent in the area. So any, any strong spawn in the wild area, any strong spawn in Isle of Armor and then Eventually, when the Crown Tundra comes out, any strong spawn there because you will be able to do the raid den time skip thing and you'll be able to get brand new Licky Lickies or not Licky Lickies, brand new strong spawns. So, here we go. It's like instant, you don't have to ride your bike all the way over to it. So, it's just a faster method of hunting the strong spawns, and this is pretty cool. I, I like how you can hunt these strong spawns like this with uh, any, any, uh, like. What am I trying to say? You can hunt like evolved forms is what I'm saying. Like Licky Licky, that's pretty cool. I just ran from it now. But there's other strong spawns like you can get the Drapion. There's a Bufalance. And this is just for this type of weather. There's a low Punny. There's some really cool ones too. Like there's Alakazam and there's Kangaskhan. There's, oh, there's a bunch of like Malamar. There's a bunch of really cool strong spawns that you can get. And they're all different on the weather. There's like... Starmie and Kingler, there's all those kind of people, but yeah, like really cool. Let me know what you guys think of this, and be sure to leave a like on the video. I'm gonna say my outro now, so now it's gonna be really weird because I'm gonna be repeating myself. I don't know why I say it like that, but that is gonna be it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, ring those notification bells, all that good stuff. Be sure to join the domination, and I will see you in the next video.